So it looks like Booga was just dropped from the Sentinels esports team. Due to the Sentinels having no desire to continue pursuing competitive Fortnite, they just decided to drop him altogether since, well, Booga is a competitive Fortnite player. But the Sentinels aren't the only esports team to drop Fortnite. It turns out Become Legends has exited the competitive Fortnite team as well as Team Vitality. So with that being said, it seems like competitive Fortnite is in a very awkward position. There aren't a lot of esports teams left in the competitive Fortnite scene, and it looks like there aren't a lot of good financial reasons to continue. If you're wondering why a lot of these orgs are dropping out the reason is because there's no way to make money by playing fortnite you see orgs make money through video games in one of two particular ways one could be from the sponsorships that they have for example let's say they get sponsored by mcdonald's they put the mcdonald's logo on their jerseys they send their players out to a tournament with millions of people watching that's brand recognition not only for the esports team but for the company that's sponsoring them the other way they make money is through collaboration so for example let's say fortnite let's say there's new custom skins in fortnite that have the sentinels logo on them well the sentinels would make a percentage of the profits from anyone that purchases that skin and the item shop but fortnite has not been forthcoming with any sort of collaboration with any esports team and i think it's because fortnite wants to keep their tournaments a bit more casual the way fortnite tournaments have always worked is that pretty much anyone can participate in them and also think of it this way if esports teams drop out of the competitive fortnite scene that means there's going to be a lot of pro players that fall off as well meaning the skill gap between the best players on the planet and the average person just jumping in on a Saturday wanting to play a tournament is gonna be lowered. You're not gonna have as many sweaty players dominating the lobbies. Now, at the end of the day, there's always gonna be sweats, and arguably, there's always gonna be someone who's good enough to even rival Booga or give him a run for his money. That's an unknown player. But with Epic's current business model, they seem to make more money if they're not worried about getting esports players into the game. Now, to me, I can see one glaring flaw with that business strategy. One of the best ways for a video game to stay alive is through the competitive scene. And esports teams provide a stable culture for competitive gaming. Each team has specific players you get attached to, you learn their stories, and when you see them compete, it gets you really excited. And that's honestly the biggest thing that Fortnite competitive is lacking right now is excitement. And even more so than that, competitive is lacking synergy. Now, what do I mean by that? Back in the day, there used to be a lot of Fortnite content creators that would stream tournaments, that would stream Fortnite to get people really excited about the game. This in turn made casual players want to play the game more because they looked up to these competitive esports players and they wanted to be just like them. As of late, there are people that stream competitive Fortnite, but it's not like how it used to be. Competitive Fortnite ironically seemed to be a bit more casual back in the day. And that's the thing, it seems like the best Fortnite content creators don't stream tournaments and the best Fortnite players don't make content. If you wanna be a competitive Fortnite player, that's fine, but I would recommend making content around it because at any point in time, the rug can get pulled underneath you and you can get removed from the esports team that's sponsoring you. I think another thing Epic really needs to improve on are the amount of live events or live tournaments that it has. Things like that to bring content creators together, to get people excited about the game, to have something for the entire Fortnite community to rally behind, and just to create an experience where content creators can get together to meet each other to make new content in the future. But what's the solution to all these problems? How can Epic resolve this. I think Epic needs to host two different types of tournaments. One for the sweaty hardcore Fortnite players that earned the right to be there because they grinded the game and won smaller tournaments throughout the year. And then a separate tournament for content creators. People who aren't necessarily the best at the game but are incredibly entertaining to watch. But I think it'd be even more entertaining if people saw their favorite content creators all in one place competing against each other. Can you imagine a tournament with people like iTalk, Jojo Zaya, Littlest Snail, Dagwummy, just different up and coming Fortnite content creators going up against people like Cypher PK, Ninja, Nick Merckx, guys like that, established legacy content creators. But let's backtrack for a second. None of what I said is going to make a difference if Fortnite doesn't fix the loot pool. Now, I will say this, I think the current loot pool is fun and it's the best one that we've had competitively for probably the last year and a half. But I think Fortnite needs to grow a pair, stop listening to competitive players, and start paying attention to what makes their game the most fun. There is no reason why we shouldn't have launch pads in competitive, why boogie bombs shouldn't be in competitive, impulse grenades, bows, items and abilities that separate Fortnite from your average shooter, all of those should be thrown in the competitive sphere. For some reason, competitive players think that if a bunch of goofy items are in the game, no one's gonna take Fortnite seriously as an eSport. Here's a caveat to that. No one's gonna watch Fortnite as an eSport if you have a trash loot pool and it's just the same four or five boring guns and a couple of items for rotation. 
We need to spice things up, and I'm not talking about adding things like mechs or the Infinity Blade into the game. I'm talking about weapons that are maybe slightly broken or give a player a unique advantage, but still require a fair amount of skill to use. Finally, and I think this is the last thing that Epic really needs to pay attention to, I really think they need to double down on zero builds. They would have a greater pool of content creators to choose from, as well as a lower skill gap, that way they can find more interesting people to jump in and play these tournaments. But once again, I would say that if they do this, these tournaments need to be live, in person, public events, people have to buy tickets in an arena to come see these people because the energy that you get from the crowd, people cheering when their favorite content creator is out there clapping cheeks, there is nothing like it. Epic understands this, but I think that they've been slow in dragging their feet when it comes to the competitive scene. There's so many amazing aspects to Fortnite and I just feel like Epic doesn't capitalize on what they have, whether it be creative, competitive, or the BR. There's so much more that we could really be doing with one of the greatest video games ever made. Anyway, if you're new here, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and while you're waiting for the next video to drop, why don't you check out this one right here. It goes over everything you need to understand if you plan on becoming a top tier Fortnite content creator. I love you guys, and I'll catch you soon. Peace out.